The top at 10 tonight, a JBLM soldier sentenced for two young women's deaths. The soldier was behind the wheel doing donuts when he hit them, killing them back in November of 2020. A street racing took their lives. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us for the News at 10. I'm Matthew Smith. And I'm Nia Wong. A third woman died, according to her family, trying to cope with their loss. Fox 13's Alejandra Guzman joins us live in the newsroom, sharing the emotional moments from inside the courtroom. Matthew New, I can tell you it was certainly an emotional day as family, friends and loved ones of Ken and Kelly filled the courtroom. Their parents making emotional and impactful statements pleading for justice after that car doing donuts smashed into them nearly three years ago. The man behind the wheel faced them today and apologized for his actions. Your Honor, as we stand before you today, our heart shattered and our spirit heavy with grief. It's a pain no parent should ever endure, the loss of a child. None of us parents will get to see our children reach their milestones in life. Precious memories and unfulfilled dreams. The parents of McKenna Hustis and Kelly Acosta say they were robbed of as they pled the courts for the maximum sentence for justice in their daughter's deaths. There's that silence late at night when she usually came home. Then I remember she's never coming home again. November 27th is a day their parents will never forget. Kenny was 19, Kelly 23. They both shared a passion and interest in cars. They went to a car meet in Auburn. While there, they were hit by a car doing donuts. Army soldier Rondale Hendricks, then 19, was behind the wheel. And that moment of recklessness, he forever altered the course of our lives. Addressing the court, Hendrick says it's a day he clearly remembers, taking responsibility for his mistakes, choices, and actions that led to this moment. And no matter how many times I say sorry, it will never mend the hearts of the family, it will never bring their children back. I wish I could go back and do it. I truly do. Kenna and Kelly were in critical condition. Kenna's family recalls making a difficult decision. Due to the pandemic, their goodbye was cut short. It was a day that shattered our lives and left irreparable void in our hearts. Friday's sentencing comes after two and a half years. Judge Joe Compagna sentencing Hendricks to 34 months for each count of vehicular homicide. 34 months for two, potentially three lives, you know. Um, doesn't seem like justice to me. That is in fact what the guidelines call for in this case. I just pray that this young man spends the next few years of his life thinking about how his actions have affected other people for the rest of their lives. A very emotional day for many families. Kenneth says though that they take solace in knowing that their daughter gave the ultimate gift, the gift of life. She was an organ donor. On the other hand, a restitution hearing has been set for a later date. Fox 13 will keep you posted. Back to you.